Good morning from sunny and windy Jimu Nai. We arrived here in Jimu Nai last night after a 90k trip from Havahe. And compared to foraging, there's no mozzies here. That's, that's because there are little surface water. And it's also really cool at night. And this is the last leg of our Golden Triangle journey. Although it's only a small town, there are plenty to see here. And the first thing you realize when you get into town is the snow-capped mountains. Although it's not very high up, it's covered by snow all year round, so it's quite baffling. And there's also something really strange and magical to see, so let's not waste any time. Although this is Jimunai's biggest attraction, it's still pretty much off the beaten track, just like most of Xinjiang. Few tourists make it to spots like this. The upside is you'll have the place to yourself. The downside though is it's hard to get information on the internet, especially in English. Anyway, we're here at the Shen Shi Cheng, meaning magic stone city. <laughs> It's pretty mysterious. There's no water source, but but water has gathered inside somehow. Okay, let's go. This magic spring apparently hasn't run dry for a thousand years. We run into some local Kazakhs who've come to pray. Kazakhs and Mongolian nomads have been active in this area for a long time and believe the spring to be sacred and have magical powers. Kazakhs and Mongolians still make pilgrimages here to drink its waters and to pray for blessings. When you come here, you really have to take your time and make your own discoveries. They, they were just telling me that there's interesting rock formations and um, attractions everywhere. This place and the rest of Xinjiang is a photographer's paradise. It's a good idea to time your visits to sites like this so you can catch the sunset when the light conditions are at their best. With scenery like this, it's small wonder that photographers flock here. Is this coincidence or fate? So we ran into our three photographer friends again. And what are we going to do to celebrate in Xinjiang? We're going to have a feast, of course. Go, go, go. One of the great joys of travel is befriending other travellers, swapping experiences over a drink. Our friends told us to check out the Jimunai market that's famous for selling goods from across the border. Just the place for me to stock up on souvenirs. With Kazakhstan just across the border, Jimuna is a great place to come and pick up on souvenirs, food, and see what we've got. Biscuits, jam, and even vodka to keep you warm in winter. Yeah. Although it's only a small market, the variety of goods is huge. How about this made to order boots? The Jibunai border crossing is pivotal to tourism and trade between China and Kazakhstan. No doubt many of the Kazakh merchandise at the market pass through this very gate. Here, it feels like everything's on the move. So we've been catching glimpses of Kazakhstan as we're traveling down south to Jimunai. And here, you can actually set foot into Kazakhstan. We're at the frontier. This is the Jimunai border crossing. So if you want to cross between China and Kazakhstan by land, this is the place to do it. This is really exciting. International travel. Our trip in this part of Xinjiang happens to run along China's border with Kazakhstan. As you can see, this is the borderline here. I've been fascinated with the diverse border towns and to see how they've been influenced by their geography. 
We've also been blessed with some amazing scenery like Lake Karnas and the Oasis in Harbour Her County. Our trip in Xinjiang is far from over though. On the next episode, I'll take you to Fuhai County to see Xinjiang's second largest lake. I'm James Lam, thanks for watching Travelog.